Hours later, Fortune published a story that includes the accounts of two women who say Pharaoh made unwanted physical advances toward them, including groping in an unwelcome kiss. My colleague Beth Coward and I had reached out to Farouk for comment on these encounters last week, so you can see why the timing of his departure struck us as noteworthy. Farouk declined to be interviewed and did not address or dispute any of the women's specific allegations. In a statement, his spokesperson said Farouk has never had a claim filed against him nor a settlement made on his behalf. In our story, the Muse CEO and co-founder Catherine Minshew and former Ingersoll Rand executive Hagen Kattler recount their experiences with Pharaoh in eye-opening detail. Unlike those who face harassment in the workplace, their stories unfold outside the 9 to 5, in the world of late-night dinners and after-work drinks, the place where so much of alliance building and deal-making really happens. It can be treacherous terrain for women, but to reject it closes us off from many of the true drivers of business, connections, mentorship, capital. I urge you to read Min's Hugh and Kapler's accounts in full, it's a cliché to call their choice to tell their stories brave, but it's also true. Yet perhaps more importantly, their decision to come forward is powerful. Reflecting on her encounter with Pharaoh, Min's Hugh told us that she thinks he did what he did simply because he could. And I couldn't really do anything about it, she says. There are some acts of misogyny and harassment that are just as much about reminding women what they can and can't do than they are about sex. To her, it felt incredibly cavalier. Like he didn't even care so much about me or about the situation, says Minshew. He was just going to see if I would have sex with him. But it was my company and the fate of 14 employees or so was hanging in the balance, as well as my career to some extent. And to him, it was just worth a pass. In telling their stories, Min's Hugh and Kapler take that power back. If you have a story to tell, be it related to this article or otherwise, my inbox is always open, kristen.bellstrom at fortune.com.